bed and breakfast. We are located on Main Street in Wakanda, Illinois, and today I'm going to show you how to make overnight coffee cake. I am Sherry Corder, the innkeeper here, and I very often make this and serve this to my guests in the morning. Um, actually, I've been published in the Illinois Bed and Breakfast Cookbook. If you want to purchase this, they have it at Barnes & Noble, and I also sell it here. So what's so great about this is that I make the recipe at night and then put it in the refrigerator and bake it in the morning. Okay, so we're going to start with the recipe now. Right from the top, we uh, put three quarters of a cup of butter in here. And along with that goes a cup of sugar. And we're going to mix that up to a nice texture, and then we're going to add eight ounces of sour cream. This makes it rich and good, the sour cream. It makes it very moist. And two eggs. And you won't believe the next ingredient. It's six ounces of Gerger's baby food, the apricot and mixed fruit together. This gives it a wonderful flavor and makes it so moist. So we're putting six ounces of that in. And now we're going to mix that. And then we're going to do the dry ingredients, which is two cups of flour. and one teaspoon of baking powder and one teaspoon of baking soda and also a half a teaspoon of nutmeg and a half a teaspoon of salt. And then we're going to stir those ingredients together and then combine them with the liquid mixture. So you see how fast and easy this is to do at night before you go to bed. that has um, been uh, greased on the bottom and sides. We're going to put that in there. There are many uh, reviews about this overnight coffee cake on my website if you want to look at that. Hmm. 
We do a lot of fun things here at Old Victorian Farmhouse Fed and Breakfast. We do high teas for groups of 8 to 28, and we also do murder mystery dinners, and that's a lot of fun. Okay, back to our coffee cake. Now we're going to make a, a topping to go on top of this. That's really the yummy part. Now we're going to make the topping for the overnight coffee cake. And we start out with three quarters cup brown sugar that I've already put in here. And a half a cup of chopped walnuts. And one teaspoon cinnamon. And one teaspoon nutmeg. We're going to stir that all together and put that on top of our coffee cake before we cover it with plastic wrap and put it in the refrigerator for overnight. In the morning, you turn the oven on 350 and take it out of the refrigerator so it just gets a little bit more room temperature during the time that your oven is preheating. And um, you put it in for 35 minutes. So we're going to put the topping on the coffee cake now. I know you're wanting to come for breakfast, aren't you? So once again, you can get this recipe um, by buying the book at Barnes & Noble, uh, the Illinois Bed and Breakfast Cookbook. Or you can buy the cookbook here at my place. Or you can come here and stay overnight and get it. Okay, we're ready to put plastic wrap on that. And that sure didn't take very long to make. Very delicious. It's a wonderful overnight coffee cake. In the morning, it will smell so good as it is baking. Doesn't that look great? To come for uh, stay overnight, we have four guest rooms, uh, four different prices, all decorated entirely different. You can go to oldvictorianfarmhouse.com and click on the names of all these rooms and see how they're decorated. And um, when you make the reservation, you can either make the reservation online or by calling me either way. And if you want me to serve this overnight coffee cake when you come, that'd be great. Or you might want me to make creme brulee French toast or maybe a quiche. So um, I hope you'll call 847-526-9271. Talk to you soon. Thanks.